Well, hello there. This is the Noob Nerd Channel. Uh, all talk gaming, TV, films, comic books specifically. But today we'll be going through something quite different to what I usually do on the channel. If you haven't checked out my other videos, I really appreciate it if you check my sub box, dropped a like, commented, shared. I always appreciate it. Today, as you probably clicked on this video for, I'm going to do a Star Wars video and mostly to do with my own thoughts about the franchise and where it should be headed and specifically it, yes as you can see mace window mace window <laughs> mace window is the topic of discussion because i think he should get his own solo movie i think that would be a fantastic way for disney to get things right in all in all circumstances in all points of view <laughs> well, it all depends on the points of view you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'll be going through three main reasons why I'm just like, almost like big, these are the three big bullet points of why I think he should be the center of his new movie. Not a TV show, not in a comic book, not in a, another TV show like Resistance or something like that. No, his own solo movie. Three big bullet points, bullet, can't speak. three big <laughs> bullet points and I'll be just get many ideas from there and just all my thoughts and suggestions leave your own thoughts do you disagree with me do you think it should be moved to somewhere else do you think mace window should just stay dead because that's what i'm thinking because i think mace window should come back to life we'll go we'll go into that more in the, in the story aspect in a bit but the first big reason i think mace window should come back is because samuel jackson is just a kick-ass actor and he wants to do it he's so, he, he, it's hard in Hollywood these days to get really good actors. Actually, no. Well, you got to appreciate these actors who are really talented, but also really inclined to do franchise work. And he's Samuel Jackson's constantly said throughout his, all his interviews. I, I've actually had this idea in my head for a long time, well, for a couple of weeks now. And it was only this week that, as a coincidence, he, uh, Samuel Jackson actually um, said again, once again, this is the first of many, t well, many times he has said he wants to be part of Star Wars once again. Um, I already already knew I was going to make this video before he said that again this this past week. But what a coincidence! That just sparked my interest. Now I've got all my ideas cemented. So Samuel Jackson wants to do it. He was at uh, Star Wars Celebration last year, and he and of course he did a video message. He was saying he knew Jedi can fall have been a great have been a great reputable. I can't speak. Sorry guys, what I meant to say was, of course, Samuel Jackson in the celebration, the last celebration, he said that, of course, Jedi have a reputation for, oh, I'm paraphrasing, but Jedi have a great reputation of falling from great distances and surviving. Of course, the main, the main uh, ex uh, example being Darth Maul himself. Um, of course, he, said, he actually said in this recent interview, or maybe not, I, I'm not sure, I think he did say something about, oh, of course, he lost his hand, I think, of course, he, he, his hand got chopped off at the end of Avengers of Sith. Near the end of the film, anyway, and but of course, cybernetics aren't a problem, especially if Darth Maul can have his whole lower half literally sewn, and his upper half falling down a massive chasm into the into the wilderness, also known as television, <laughs> uh, and still survive with cyborg like enhancements and be better than ever. In fact, and yeah, there's no reason why they can't do that now. Obviously, of course, they don't want to make it so it's like very much repeating of what's happened before but that is that is that is being made canon and in in many films and many franchises like star wars if you don't see the person die he's not dead in my eyes and yeah um my next point is that no no not my next point the, there's overall love for the, uh, samuel jackson of course the fans of course there's no point an actor just wanted it the fans also might want it as well and the, of course the fans are really getting into the prequels once again. They really want to see Disney really recognise the prequels as part of the lore. And really try and continue to fill the gaps. But in a cool and exciting way. And in ways that, that are very surprising that we didn't really expect at first. Um, Luke, George Lucas himself, of course, I think he, I think he said in the novelization of the Revenge of Sith that he did in fact die. Lucas is open to it. I think he's he gave Samuel Jackson that purple lightsaber, and I'll go into that more in a bit. About in the story point of view, uh, yeah, it's de-aging technology as well. 
of course they're going to do that for Captain Marvel soon enough and so that shouldn't really be a problem but of course the way I, I'm envisioning him being in his own solo movie he, prosthetics won't be even a, a problem to, to be fair like even right now the present Samuel Jackson looks pretty young to me I think I think I think he could do just fine uh, so my next big point is of course Disney need to do this from a business point of view as well not just from the actors and all that fan fan uh, fan love and all that um, excuse me <laughs> Last Jedi yeah Last Jedi fatigue not enough fatigue from Star Wars they need to do something different they need to do something off the wall and try and get people who are literally trashing them and really just disregarding the franchise now after these new films uh, whether you like the film or not or not I like the f film personally but I know many people who did not and of course Disney might be apprehensive to do another solo type film where it's only focusing on one character but I think that was just due to the release date it was really close to Last Jedi too close after the initial initial reaction solo wasn't really someone who we really needed where Samuel Jackson's character Sam, oh, not Samuel Jack, oh, well, Mace Windu could be really elevated to uh, a new level. Um, uh, people, you could say that why not put it as a streaming service? Disney having a new streaming service, and of course, there's already rumors having Darth Bane, Obi Wan. I could make whole other videos about why I should I should think they they should be movies and not TV shows and. That's, that goes to no exception when it comes to Mace Windu. I think Mace Windu, he deserves to be in the big screen. I think he'd be extremely limited. The story would be limited. The effects would be limited. Of course, visual effects don't make everything in the Star Wars film. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be the only selling point. But I think it really just adds the grandiose nature of it and the importance of it. And really being a statement for Disney showing that, no, we care about these characters and we want to nourish them in, a, in, the, in the medium that Star Wars is birthed from. Star Wars is not birthed from comics, Star Wars is not born from TV, that's the cool thing about it, it's like episodes on the big screen and just really important, really cinematic, really, not cinematic, I mean, they're events, they're big scale events and they should do that whether it's the saga films or it's the, these new anthology films which I don't know if they're going to actually try and make more but I really think they should with this character specifically. So now let's go into the juicy bit and why he should be in his own film and what would that film could entail and what makes the plot interesting because Mace Windu kind of has to die in, unless they want to like retcon a lot of stuff in, including with Ahsoka and all that and stuff like that of course uh, if you don't know the Star Wars canon is getting really has been rebo rebooted ever since Disney have bought the franchise and they're slowly putting stuff in to fit the timeline but with that comes some complications and being like oh where's this character when this is happening and all that good stuff but of course in my film Mace Windu will probably die by the end of the film or just go into hiding or just go out of commission pretty much but what I'm saying is Mace Windu did survive that fall in Return of the uh, Jedi uh, Revenge of the Sith um, whether he hopped onto like a cruiser maybe he landed controlled his fall he still got damaged quite a bit he has to have enhancements put it into him underworld he has to go into the underworld of the Coruscant City, um, of course. Leave your suggestions for story. Of course, I'm not the, I'm not like a writer. I'm not a professional creative thinker. Like you guys, sp spout your things. I'm just doing general ideas. So, I just really want to see him go into the syndicate, go into hiding, and be forced to hang out with people he wouldn't usually hang out with. Hang out with. I say it so informally, but like, coerce with people such as Darth Maul, who we know from the last, from the ending of Solo. Is part of the crime syndicate. I think that was a really cool bit that they 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 need to capitalize on because that was a really cool part of the film. But they could have expanded on that for the solo film itself. But it looks like they were teasing it for future solo movies or stuff like that, and for Kira's character. But with Solo's crap, base uh, hard to say, but it's crap box office office returns. I think it's gonna be hard for that to happen on the big screen. But this could be a good way to link that in and carry over that storyline. He meets Kira. He meets Darth Maul. He. He's struggling with his dark side tendencies. So apparently with his purple lightsaber, of course, if you don't know the story, George Lucas, of course, gave Samuel Jackson his purple lightsaber because Samuel Jackson just simply wanted a purple lightsaber. <laughs> it's not, it was just because he looked cool to him. But in here, you could have a really cool in-canon explanation of that. 
while including flashbacks. I think flashbacks, even though I want this to be set as it's as his character has progressed, there's no reason why they can't include flashbacks. But the reason I don't want it set like before all the prequel stuff is because I think in the prequels they 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 really they his character wasn't really that interesting. It was just very bland and not really using Samuel Jackson's talents. I think he was just there to be there. You know what I mean? He could have been so much more cooler. But of course you have won the flashbacks with how he got into the Jedi training, give some more insight on how normal kids it was literally like during the Republic days, it was just normal to take a kid, take them to the Jedi Academy. But what makes Mace Windu a bit more different to everyone else? Because if you don't know, his purple lightsaber, I think in Legends at least, I don't know if it's it's been teased in canon at all, but his purple lightsaber might be they might link him that with his lightsaber form. So his lightsaber form, um, of course, we see in Revenge of Sith, he has these dark side tendencies. He's willing to, by in the diverse of circumstances, let go of the Jedi code for even a moment. And his lightsaber form, in Legends at least, <laughs> um, he's actually using dark side energy almost to fuel his light side without succumbing to the dark side. And I think that could be really cool, just a really different way of looking at force abilities and just something extra, something that doesn't need to be put in a saga film, but something that can be used in this film as a really cool tidbit into his character. But of course, in this circumstances, in these circumstances where the, I want a film to take place between Avengers Sith and the New Hope, the Jedi are going, uh, are dying left, right and centre. How does he react to, to his, to the Chosen One betraying him and him needing to hide, hide away from the people he used to love? And how does he struggle with that? Does he succumb to the dark side? Does he just still use, does he try to battle with his dark side and light side? Maybe he is, really is a light side user, but he, he, he goes on to find himself using dark side powers, but there's no, but he thinks that's like a, not exactly the worst thing in the world, like a gray Jedi, Jedi word. There's like no such thing. There's a gray, there's grays in between the good and the evil. Um, of course, him going to Darth Maul for, Help across the underworld. Maybe meeting. Maybe not meeting Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt. I don't want to. I don't want to make it feel like a small world. Star Wars. I want to make it feel big. Of course, new characters here and there. New droids. New criminal underworld. Maybe new other Jedi that he finds along the way. But unfortunately, they die at the hands of Darth Vader. Could have a cool cameo by that. But of course, Mace Windu survives somehow. And then, but of course, by the end, he has to die. Maybe he meets up with, communicates with um, Obi Wan, uh, Yoda, before. They die because he doesn't actually appear in Rebels, in the uh, Star Wars Rebels, or any other films. So it's not like because the problem with other characters like Obi Wan, Darth Maul, that they're kind of done the cool moments already. Because if you don't spoilers for Star Wars Rebels, Obi Wan battles Darth Maul in that show, so they can't really do that again in the films unless they try retcon some stuff. You know what I mean? Whereas Mace Windu hasn't been mentioned at all, so it could be literally its own thing. It doesn't have to worry about. It doesn't have to worry about stepping on other other material because there has been no material since that Revenge of the Sith film what else could I say um, maybe he did in fact help with the Rebel Alliance or at least secretly at least setting up everything maybe keeping the Senate in order well, of course the Senate or how the Senate react to makes me do maybe some Senate members some maybe some people find that he's alive and try and hunt him down himself Maybe it's not just Sith going after the Jedi. Maybe it's actually just normal people who have progressively, as the years have gone by, learned to forget about the Jedi's goodwill and just really succumb to the propaganda by the Empire as that develops. How does he react to that? I think it's Samuel Jackson. Of course, I know he wants to be in the film, but I think he wants to be challenged. I think the actor wants to be... He, I think he knows that if he were to return, he would be in a substantial way and the writers would really have something for him to do this time and not be just a back... Back just a side piece and be like, oh yeah, there's Samuel Jackson prequels, oh my god, but there's not really anything to him. The mixture of fl flashbacks, his cybernetics, his dark side tendencies, his the explanation of his purple lightsaber linking to that. I think that could be really, really interesting. And apologies if this first video about Star Wars specifically, I have made um, my own thoughts about you know the Clone Wars returning for the streaming service. I can't wait till that happens. Maybe there could be some cool Mace Windu stuff there, but. Yeah, if you want to know how I think about other stuff like that, of course I've said before, check out my other videos. My first, I think my first ever couple of videos was talking about Star Wars The Clone Wars and how that's returning and all that good stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, thank you guys for listening if you have for this long.
let me know constructive criticism how I can improve these speculation videos I'll be planning to do more Star Wars videos as of course the Star Wars episode 9 hype is starting to wivel around everyone I don't know if that word wivel <laughs> so I was I was too busy sleeping about uh, Snoke's theories S still even though he's dead <laughs> and yeah this this idea came ash came to me I'm I'm being as truthful as I can before I went to sleep it was just it really just popped up into my head and yeah, I hope you guys appreciated that, and I hope you guys like what I have to offer. Maybe you want to make your own ramifications to what I want. Maybe you don't want it at all. So, comment below, like, comment, subscribe, share. Always appreciate it. Welcome to New Nerd. If you haven't been, if you're new, click that like button. Do all that good jazz. I've set myself, set, set, up, set myself up so many times, but yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching, and see ya. Bye.